Well, we got the wrong camera. No microphone. Let's fix some stuff. What's up, guys? How is everybody doing? And by everybody, I mean one person. Who's here with me? Can you guys hear me all right? Howdy, howdy, howdy all. Welcome to another fun week. That's right. That's right, Lissa. Welcome in, you guys. Welcome in. Later in the day, or in the night, in the show, however you want to say it, we're going to give away one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten packs of Pokemon Trick or Trade cards. Can you see that? Packs of three. Anyways, we're going to give away 10 of those. Lisa can hear me. Good deal. Good deal. How was everybody's Monday? How was everybody's weekend? <clears throat> Excuse me. Coveted silly things. Yeah, I don't know if these are any good. I don't. I did not comp these out. I bought these from our good friend Paul Philly Flipper on whatnot just to give away tonight. So, no idea what these are or if they're any good at all. Lisa, how you doing? I talked to Anthony a little bit today. I know he's been a little down in the dumps. I was trying to cheer him up some. Hope he's doing well. Guys, my reseller, Genie, sent me some cards with my code on them to put in packages. How cool is that? It's got all the pricing on the back. Two hundred and fifty of them. Super dope. Faith and Paul are amazing people. Lost two people that fast. Talk about my reseller genie and Pokemon and nobody wants to hang around. Dom Flippin says he'll be back. Jason's here. Lux Garage. What's up, brother? How you doing, man? Kind of you to do a giveaway, Shane. Careful, people here. Giveaway. Every idiot and their dog will come. Thanks for talking to Anthony. Yeah, life struggle still a game to many of us doing the grind. Yeah. And reselling, people think, you know, reselling's an easy job. It really it's not. There's a lot of work in it. You have to grind and grind and rock, grind to keep it going. And when sales aren't happening and you're doing the thing. Like, it's it's kind of heartbreaking. You put so much time and effort into something that's it's just not doing well for you. Reselling is not easy, and anybody who says it is either has 400,000 subscribers or they don't know what the hell they're talking about. Let's just be blunt about it. I have 3,135 subscribers, and I've had, <clears throat> besides merchandise, and by merch, I mean my shirts and hats, besides those things, I've had two viewer sales, and I think I've sold one t-shirt and maybe four or five hats. So viewer sales, are they're not something that everybody gets hell uh page had what six thousand six thousand subs maybe close to seven thousand 
and very rarely got viewer sales until he did his whole I need a new leg kind of sale thing. Then they were coming in because people want to support him, and that's absolutely awesome. So you can be doing everything right, prices, desirable items, list every day. You can't make people spend their money. It's not necessarily the worker, just the economy. Yeah, and that's that's a huge part of it. The economy sucks right now for most people. It's pretty tough out there. So, for instance, and I this this may be something I did. I think I absolutely killed my store last Thursday. I decided to experiment because the locker room boys and I were talking in one of our more recent episodes the last week or two. We were talking about uh, markdown sales versus uh, promoted listings. And a couple of the guys were talking about how they were combining them. Say if they wanted to do a 20% sale, they would promote 5% and put the 15% markdown on. I've never done that before. I've always just done a markdown sale and kept my promoted listings the same. Thursday, I decided, you know what the hell, I'm going to give it a shot. So I bumped my, all my promoted listings to 5% and put the sell, markdown sale at 20 for a total of 25%. Didn't sell a single thing Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. Absolute worst weekend I've ever had. Didn't sell the thing. Sold two things today. So I'm hoping it's going to pick back up. Maybe me doing that, you know just kind of confuse the algorithms or something. I don't know. It definitely did not work in my favor. So as usual, guys, it's Monday night. So I am double fisting. Sugar-free sweet tea. That is a thing. And not sugar-free whiskey. I mean, not whiskey. Amy from Beach by Repeat went live on one of her um, live YouTube. Uh, I don't know what she calls them, but she does these live shows where she, her Goodwill sells Gaylords or auctions Gaylords out starting at five bucks. And she wins them for five bucks all the time. Anyways, this hat came out of there. And it was colored like a kid had colored all in it. I don't know if you guys saw my Instagram post. But she was like, I don't know if you're going to be able to get that out, Shane. I don't think she realized how uh, how good I am at cleaning things. So, anyways, she just wanted me to pay shipping for it. Um, she did not want me to give her any money for this. Because, you know, we're all buddies, right? We're all friends. But I sent her, it was five bucks for the shipping she wanted. And I sent her eight. I was like, look, you got to at least make a few bucks off of off of me because, you know, we're in this business to make money, not give away everything we find. So I sent her three bucks plus shipping, basically, for this hat. Took me about five minutes to clean it. And then so if you guys don't know, if you're scrubbing with a hard bristle brush on something to get a clean a hat or anything, you know, similar to this, it's going to kind of mess the fabric up and it's going to kind of pull off and be stringy. So I just take my beard trimmer and you can see me doing it in the Instagram post, but uh, I just hit it like I'm shaving my neck or something with the trimmer and trim all that off. It looks brand new. I do need to steam it and reshape it because it was clearly smashed in that bottom of that Gaylord. So I got to steam it. I'll steam it, reshape it, and it'll be back to new. It's a little too small for my head. Um, but I don't know. It's good. I bought it to put in the collection. I have way too many freaking hats. I have to stop buying hats. I don't even wear hats all the time. Mm -hmm. Teresa's here. What's up, Teresa? How you doing? Corey, I'm assuming, is out planting flowers and trees and other shrubs plants
double fisting should Beetlejuice summon Roman out of John and Jenna? We'll see. We'll see. I love John and Jenna, but them being live the same time as me, I know they go live before I do, but I sure would love to have their audience. He was out playing with the plants, yeah. I subscribed to his new channel. I I don't know why I did, y'all. I'm no horticulturist. I'm going to share it, though. I'm going to share Corey's new channel. For you guys um, who don't know, Corey from Grams and Pops Vintage started a plant channel. So, Pops versus Plants, I believe it's called. We're going to share this. We're going to get Corey some subscribers. Hopefully. Hopefully you guys like plants enough. Paste and go. I'm getting a call. So just so you guys know how much I love you. I really need footage for my snake channel. And I got a call to remove a big, fat, healthy rat snake from someone's yard about 20 minutes before this show started. And I turned it down because Monday night is Soda City Social and you guys are more important than recording content from my other channel. So here I am. So I had to defer. So I reached out to all my snake relocation friends and found a guy, Brian. I don't know if you watch this channel, but if you do, buddy, thank you for going and taking care of that. But yeah, um, and now I got people calling me from Facebook Messenger, I guess, because they're available to go. But Brian was the first to respond, so Brian's going. Yeah, Corey and gardening. It's a combination I would have never expected. But the man likes plants. There's nothing wrong with that. Gramps, can we start calling him Seymour? Suddenly Seymour. I think we should. Suddenly Seymour. There's no way you guys don't know that reference. Absolutely no way. Corey's got 67 views on his first long-form video. It says it's 15 minutes and 9 seconds, but I feel like it was like 45 minutes long when I was watching it. Uh, and he's got 408 views on his first short, so that's cool. Going to see that show at a dinner theater in June. Oh, that's cool. I would love to see that. Tell Brian to take pics. I can show you a picture of the lady sent me. I'll try to zoom in so you guys can see it. This this big healthy rat snake, if you look in the middle of it, where it's all gray and white and black instead of just mostly solid black. So rat snakes are born with a pattern very similar to a corn snake because they're, you know, very similar snakes. They're both rat snakes. Corn snakes are nicknamed red rat snakes. Uh, but as they grow older, at least eastern rat snakes, they turn solid black on top and you can barely see the pattern. But this guy has just eaten a squirrel or a rabbit or something. So his skin's all stretched out. And now you can see his pattern. But that's that's the snake that's getting relocated tonight. Yeah, it ate it ate something big. He I'm assuming that's a female. Females are generally larger. I'm replying back to one of these people. Sorry, I'm live on YouTube. Brian Whoops. Ran out there. Had a red rat snake as a young teen. Yeah. 
It's just a corn snake. That's what I catch the most of around my house is corn snakes. We have a lot of them. I live in the middle of the woods. Um, so I have, I mean, some of you guys know this. I have set up spots for snakes to hide and hang out at my house. And I catch a lot of rat, uh, corn snakes, racers, black racers. Um, and what's the other one I find most of probably probably red bellied snakes, which full grown. They're only like 10 inches long. They're like, they eat like garden pests, like slugs and bugs and things. Did take my stepdaughter hiking uh, Saturday. We went to the Congaree National Swamp and hiked looking for snakes. We found three snakes, about six or seven turtles, uh, a few lizards and things. But we sat down, ate lunch on the ground beside a lake um, out in the middle of the swamp. Didn't see any alligators. Uh, one snake was a cotton mouth. It was the only venomous snake out of the three that we came across. It was windy. It's been so Chris Hilo's world is here. What's up, Chris? Um, by the way, Lisa, I would love to find a king snake at my house. I've I see them all the time. I've never caught one. So I want to catch one. I do have a snake channel, Ernie. Funny you should mention that. Let me just grab that link as well. Um, whoops. So, yeah, Chris, it's been windy here for like three months, dude. Like, seriously, windy, bro. Yesterday, I played golf with uh, some buddies from work, and we... um expected the the weather said it was going to be between nine and 35 mile an hour winds and we were like oh playing golf's going to be tough if the wind's blowing 35 but it barely blew at all and then today freaking insane all right guys so i'm not going to explain this again Everybody laughs at the snake channel name. Anybody who's into herpetology knows exactly what herps are and what herping is. It's literally herping is going out and looking for and finding reptiles and amphibians. Um, so the channel name is Soda City Herps. And I'm going to put the link in for you there. <laughs> Not a lot of content up yet, all videos from last year, but that's the snake channel, and I plan to be growing it um, pretty hardcore through the spring, summer, and fall. Ian is here in Texas, lady. Hi, everyone. Stopping by. Thumbs up. Thank you, Texas lady. Always appreciate you stopping by. Ian is coming at you. Double chrono. I don't have a single watch on, Ian. That reminds me, I got to finish the dang logo. I got so busy that I have not done that yet. But yeah, guys, there's a, there's the snake channel in the in the chat. If you feel so inclined, please subscribe. Uh, I feel like it's going to be a cool channel. I think it's going to grow faster than this one uh, just because of the content that will be on there. More people are interested in snakes than they are reselling. Um. But yeah, check it out. I think you guys will, if you're not afraid of snakes, that is, I think you guys will like it. So anyone who was not here when I first jumped on, tonight we're giving away 10 packs of Pokemon, what are they called? Trick or trade cards. I don't know what these are. I don't know if they're good or if there's anything in them. <laughs> I bought these off of Paul Philly Flipper and whatnot just to give away to you guys tonight. So somebody will be winning these. Do me a favor. If you're going to enter in, be subscribed. I'm not going to verify it, but do the right thing. Don't be a douchebag. I'll probably lose subscribers because I said that. But whatever it is, what it is. 
I love my loyal people. Snake people are still messaging me. I reached out to too many people, I guess. All right. Enough of that. Enough of the snakes. We're not going to get them. Also, guys, my reseller genie was absolutely amazing and kind enough to send me my own my reseller genie affiliate link cards. So check that out. 15% off your first month. Scan the QR code. There's information on the back about the different pricing plans. I use the ultimate for 20 bucks a month. Headache free, easy taxes. My CPA thanked me when I sent her the uh, the exported report from my reseller genie this year. I filed my taxes uh, like first week of February, and she literally said, "Dude, thank you for having this. This is amazing." And she couldn't believe that somebody had devoted so much time and probably a lot of pain into building such an awesome tool. So if you guys are, are not already using my reseller genie, you should be unless you're a CPA or married to one or, you know, your parents are one, whatever. But my reseller genie makes life simple. Um, and I've been using it a lot longer than I've been getting affiliate money for it. So it's not just a, you know, scheme for me to get you guys to sign up just for your money. It literally is the dopest program out there for resellers. Damn, Ian's going to put on a third chrono, triple chrono coming at you. That's funny. 13 people watching. Who's here, y'all? Let me know in the chat. There's like four people chatting with me. Actually, three. There's three people. Dom flipping his back. Had a nice ride on the concrete waves with the steps on. That is awesome, Don. Do the thing, brother. Do the thing. Uh, haven't worn a watch in 20 years. I wear one every single day. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, But when I take a shower, I take it off and... I took a shower before the show. Shower, then dinner, then you guys. Because I love you. Jason's still here. That's awesome, man. Jason, were you coming to 127 sale? I can't remember. I think I remember you saying you were. You know what, Jason? You will probably... Oh, let me see. Hold on. Jason, you'll, you'll appreciate these. Oh, and you're bowling too. Nice. So I went to the thrift store last week. And I found... This one's in... in Kind of rough shape, a little bit. It's, it's got some wear and tear on the paint job. This is a Buddy L. How cool is that? This thing is, other than that paint job, it's in killer condition, man. But you can see, you can see in the bed of the truck here, it's it's uh paint chips in there. But that thing's super, super, super cool. Yeah, Buddy L. And then. I'm a Jeep guy, so when I saw this, I had to pick it up. Vintage Tonka Jeep. Come on, focus. $800 camera. You believe that? I love the camera, but my gosh. But yeah, this vintage. And unfortunately, the sticker there is a little jacked up, but this is the only one I've seen. Every other one has black 
seating. All the seats in the cargo hold are black. This one has brown. That's the only one I was able to find. And it's got a trailer hitch. Got one with the tra trailer that pulls a trike. So I wonder if this is the same. Maybe you have the same one. Anyways, I'm a Jeep guy. So I paid 99 cents for each of these. I thought they were awesome. What's up, Shanna? How you doing? Chris, I'm excited about 127 too, man. Yours is white. That's cool, Jason. Texas lady likes old pickup trucks. I feel like my mic volume just dropped. Maybe I should learn how to use these expensive tools I buy. <sighs> Whatever. So, guys, how was everybody's sales this weekend? I know I asked a handful of you that were in here early. We're giving away Pokemon packs tonight. Walmart shenanigans. Don't buy fugglers to resell. They're no good anymore. Mine's been awesome. That's good, man. Mine tanked. My sales tanked over the weekend, but I think it's my own fault. I made some changes to my store in hopes to trigger the algorithms to boost me. What I did was I bumped all of my listings up to 5% promoted and put my store on a 20% markdown, thinking 5%, 20%, combine them 25%, let's get some sales going. I didn't get a single sale Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. And I start, I got two today. So, holy cow, did that backfire. Any of you guys into Pokemon? I mean, these may be worth reselling. I don't know. Let's, let's look. Let's freaking look. Let's go to eBay. This is Pokemon trick or trade. Holy cow, I don't know what year. Um, twenty twenty three, it looks like. Yeah, that's it. Hmm. Packs aren't selling for much. Like, let's see. Actually, that's listed. I haven't even looked, checked the souls yet. Sold items. Looking like... They're only selling for like a dollar a pack. So if you guys don't want these, if you guys don't want these, there's 10 of them free. If you don't want them, let me know. I'll sell them on whatnot. Probably sold them for fun engagement contact. Yeah, exactly. And you guys know I like to support my fellow resellers. Um, uh, so I always try to jump in most people's whatnot shows when they go live. There's a, there's a few people that I used to support hardcore and I don't anymore. Um, not for, how do I say this without sounding like a dick? Um, not because they don't support me because I don't really care about that. I have you guys, all of you guys who watch this channel support me. Um, but because of statements they made live on other people's shows about how they don't support smaller YouTube channels. And I think that's crap. Thanks for not supporting us anymore. What are you talking about? I gave, I gave you guys $20 in your live show. 
I bought a $212 box of cards from you. I don't know. I did some more stuff, I'm sure. Plus, I leave the best comments on your videos. Grams. Chris sold a PS2 Slim console bundle for 8888 International this morning. That's awesome, man. Great, Scott. Sorry, 88 triggered me. Pretty much a small channel fellow. Yep. All of us here are. Also went into my eBay room. My wire shelving fell off the wall. Oh, that sucks. Just turn around and let it there. Yeah. I I'd have had to. I'd have to let that. I'd have to left that for another day. I'm just kidding. Your comments are awesome on your videos. Yeah, I was looking for a way to comment on your newest video, Teresa. And on your last video, I commented about how much I hated Corey zooming in and out on your on your video. And I couldn't find anything. And I was like, well, maybe I should just comment how much I hate that he doesn't zoom in and out on this one. But uh, but then I never did. So I got to I'll, I'll I'll comment. I got to figure something out. Yeah, Don, hopefully your your uh, inventory is not all jacked up, man. That would suck. Bearded Thrift Machine is here. Thought about you the other day. Had a small snake in my front door and watched him for like 20 minutes. Nice, man. Yeah, I passed up. I was just telling these guys that I passed up going to relocate a very large rat snake for a lady tonight because of this show. Um, these All you guys are more important. So I called up a buddy. He's going to relocate the snake. I think he's already done. I saw a message uh, from the lady telling him thank you because I created like a group text or group chat or whatever on Facebook Marketplace. But yeah, re lady reached out to me asking if I could if I could pull it off for her. And anytime I cannot, I always have people in the pocket that'll go do it for me. But yeah, welcome in, Julian. Thanks for stopping by, man. Vintage hats and some clothes. Well, they should be safe then, Don. That's good. It still sucks your shelving fell over. Jeff is here. Jeff, I saw your comment come through on uh, my latest video, buddy. I appreciate that, man. I will respond. I didn't see it come through till right before we went live. But I will respond. You guys know I re always respond to my comments. <clears throat> not picking on anybody who doesn't i know some of these bigger channels out there they it, it's got to be insanely difficult to reply to every single comment you get i can only imagine so i'm live on youtube i'm live on facebook and i'm, I'm live on my personal page my soda city flips page and youtube and I very highly doubt anybody on Facebook is watching. But uh, if so, I can't see the comments for some reason. It's not letting me see comments from Facebook groups or Facebook profiles. It will let me see comments from pages, it's, it says. But I haven't seen any come through on the... Uh, on the chat here so i'm assuming um nobody's watching over there but if you are guys i can't see your comments if you're watching on the personal channel click the link jump over here to youtube let us know you're here and say what's up promote 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 that's right absolutely i've got to do another giveaway too i posted hmm I posted a, uh, a community post asking what everybody's favorite Soda City Flips video is. If you have not commented on that, I need you to comment your favorite video of mine and share the post. Like it and share it. I'm going to give a $25 gift card to one random person. Gift card of your choice. Tell me what you want. Whoever wins. I'll send it to you. Excuse me. 
Sorry, y'all. This this allergy season is kicking my butt, and I'm having trouble clearing my throat. Uh, Jeff picked up about 40 mad magazines. Researching, photographing, and lotting up while I listen. That's cool, man. Yo, who's Soda City Flips? Who is that dude? Hold on. Amy, Beach by Repeat, I was mentioning you earlier. I don't know if you saw the finished product. What do you think? How clean did that come out? I'm trying to tell y'all I know what I'm doing when it comes to cleaning hats and shoes. And y'all keep telling me to make videos and teach you how to do it, and I've yet to do it, so I'm sorry. But I'm really, really good at cleaning hats and shoes. What did you do? I got a little uh, live auction $1 start. That's exactly what it would sell for. That is a badass hat, y'all. So uh, long story short, Amy, Beach by Repeat, subscribe if you guys haven't already. Um, I'll put her link in 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 a comments in just a second. She does these live videos. Her Goodwills, I think it's Goodwill, does these Gaylord auctions. Like they have like a warehouse full of them, and they auction them off at like five bucks. And her and her husband, sorry, Amy, Amy, if you're not married, her and her husband, I think they do uh these auctions, and then they go live while they dig through them right there in the warehouse and yeah goodwill so like five bucks everything in there is profit so anyways i saw her pull this hat out live and i it, it, you guys know me in my hat collection i immediately messaged or commented get the hat and i think i must have said it four or five times and she finally saw it grabbed it and uh this was it. And it was this, all this was colored in with like ink pen and Sharpies and markers, different colors. And you'd never know it. Now it did get smashed in the Gaylord. So you guys can see the right, right here. And then on this side, the same thing. So it got smashed. So, but the way you fix that is you get a steamer, steam that bad boy and then reshape it, fill it full of, Grocery bags, whatever you got to do to fill that thing up to reshape it as it dries, it'll reshape and it'll either look good on your head or on your wall, however you want to do it. I collect hats more than I wear hats, so this was for the collection. Unless somebody wants to send me 40 50 bucks, then I might sell it and then I have to then I'll feel bad about the three dollars I gave Amy because she wouldn't let me pay her, so I'd. I just uh, Venmo or Cash App or PayPal or whatever we did and forced her to take $3 for it. Um, but yeah, super cool hat. I'll go grab her channel and put a link in the comments. I see Corey's here. What is up, Corey? Coffee and Resales. Ryan is here. Sue is here saying hey to Corey. Blazely is here. What is up, guys? Welcome in. So happy to he have all of you here. Sub soda, I did my first pick and made my first two sales on eBay. Found a sealed McDonald's Back to the Future VHS. Sold in a day and found another VHS Songs of the South. 30 each. Yo, that's dope. McDonald's Back to the Future VHS. I'm not familiar. Uh, obviously, I'm an 80s kid, so Back to the Future is, is killer. But I did not. Where's my? I have a Back to the Future T-shirt I haven't seen in a while. Love the cleaning content. Did you? So Corey, Corey saw it. Did you see? I was telling the guys whenever you, whenever you scrub a hat, um, or like a T-shirt or something, and you're scrubbing it hardcore, like like I had to do to get that uh, sharpie and all out of it, it messes up the material and it'll start like fuzzy get fuzzy and tearing up did you notice i had beard trimmers and i was shaving the hat to clean it back up a little tip for anybody who doesn't know they got to be good ones don't get some old ratty ones you found at the thrift store get you some good ones i use this is going to sound horrible manscaped is the brand i use 
just sold a granny squilt square quilt like the one in roseanne oh gosh i missed that show that was such a good show back in the day man steaming shape then starts a little yep that's not size for your head is it uh if it it's it's a little well i got the headphones but yeah it fits I have a big head, though, so you can see how many snaps I had to. Only three. But yeah, it fits. Glad someone saw it. I was, I totally was going to throw it back. Yeah, dude, as soon as I saw it, I'm a Stephen King fan, y'all. If you guys don't know Stephen King, it's the way to my heart. One of the ways. Saw me shaving it, yeah. Song of the South is a good find. That's the old Br'er Rabbit, yep. It has been shaved to the balls. Absolutely. That's how you got to do it. I have to move that in three spots. Yeah, man. You see this perfectly round noggin? I don't know what to drink to grab, y'all. trying to think of what else so i had a return first return in a very long time actually i sold some uh two-way radios walkie talkies um so to speak but these are high dollar ones they're older they're used i sold a, the pair of them it's two radios with uh one charger they sold for 125 plus shipping guy got them bought them for his hunting club and he was hoping he would be able to change the uh, frequency to match the radios they already had. Didn't work. So, um, super cool buyer, though. He did not do an INAT or something stupid. He paid for return shipping. I sent him his refund when I got him back and realized, you know, they were in the shape I sent them in. They were the ones I sent. All of that. Super cool. So, happy to take them back and relist them. I hate they didn't work out for him. 80 Stephen King books not selling as well. <laughs> you got to find Rage, Richard Bachman's Rage. That's the one. I collect Stephen King novels, and I replace, as I find better ones, I will replace certain ones. I've never found a Richard Bachman Rage. The, for those who don't know, Richard Bachman is also Stephen King. He wrote under that pseudonym for a few few novels chad is here what is up chad welcome in buddy thank you for being a member of the channel chad chad's the first one that i see the only one in the in the chat that i see tonight who is a member so chad want to shout you out brother i appreciate you buddy four episodes in don Oh, Fallout. I was wondering what you were talking about. Fallout. I did not see it. I don't do any sponsor. Rockstar Energy drink would be my weakness. <laughs> Never found Rage. Did find one of the other pricey ones before. That's awesome. Yeah, I found... I went to the thrift store the same day I found the, uh, the cars I, I was showing you guys. Um, the Jeep and the truck. I found somebody had donated their entire Stephen King collection. I bought every freaking one of them. I need to do a Stephen King whatnot show. I know those books should be sold on eBay to get the best value because it's Stephen King and there's some good ones in there. But I only have 700 followers on whatnot. I'm getting close to a thousand. I need to. Yeah, Julian, that's the one to look out for, man. Uh, I need to build my whatnot uh, followers over there. I'm just under 700. And I'm known for selling books over there for the most part. But I feel like since I started selling whatnot a year ago, uh, books wasn't a huge category then, and it is now. So I think by having an all Stephen King show, I could potentially get to 1,000 fairly quickly. 
we started watching Under the Dome. Let me tell you about Under the Dome, Jimmy the Dolphin Flipper. One of the coolest, most original Stephen King stories ever written. The absolute worst TV show I've ever seen in my life. But it's because I watched the book had I, or read the book. Had I not read the book, I would have probably thoroughly enjoyed that. They absolutely ruined that story. The book is amazing. Don's arguing with me. Don says, no, Shane. He must have enjoyed, he must have enjoyed the show. But they ruined the Dark Tower series as well by trying to fit eight books into one one and a half hour long movie. Yeah, Don, the book's amazing, dude. I found that's one of the one of the books I found a copy of this week. How do you sell stuff on on YouTube? Does anybody know? I see people like Angie Resales. I see people like her. And quite a few others doing auctions on YouTube. How do you do that? I don't think I ever would. I'm just curious. 23 people in here and it's not even 8 o'clock yet, y'all. That's pretty good for me. Sold. Sold? It's really that simple? People just put sold? Then how do you get your money? Have there been any... Adaptations of King's work that weren't abominations. The Green Mile was good. Um, holy shit. Sorry for cursing. Have you guys seen The Mist? Let me tell you, The Mist, I read the book many, many, many years ago. And it's just a short story. It's not like this big long, big novel. It's like a novella or whatever. Uh I read it many years ago when I was a teenager, completely forgotten that I had read this story. The movie came out in the late 2000s, mid 2010s. So it was like 2007 or something. That freaking movie, when the end came, I remember like instantly remembered reading the book. All my anger and hatred for this ending came back i remember when i read the book i threw it across the room and like refused to pick it up after this one thing happened and it took me a very long time to finish reading that book stephen king is such a freaking master of the art and for someone to write an ending like that guys if you haven't read the book go watch the movie come back and tell me what you thought. PayPal invoices. Okay, that's cool. Looking at the Rage book on eBay. And wow, yeah, guys. Richard Bachman, Rage. So, it's a story about a school shooting. And with all the school shootings that have been happening through the past, what, 20 years or so, roughly. Stephen King decided he was going to pull that book from production. It will never be produced again. That's why that book is so special. Um, You will never be able to get another one. They will never come out, so you have to find them. I've got paperback copies that are worth nothing. It's the first edition Rage is a freaking killer. And if you happen to be one of the few people who come across an autographed one, man, you're doing good. But yeah. Go watch The Mist. It's Ian is just as good as the book. But guys, I will warn you, the ending is going to upset you. Unless you are sick, twisted, you're may- maybe you're a serial killer. You know, I don't know what you guys do in your spare time. Reseller, you know, stay at home, dad, stay at home, mom. Uh, axe murderer. I don't know what you guys have on your resume. I'm not a King fan, but here's a tip in honor of the lawnmower man. One of my favorites as a kid. Yeah. Good one. Thanks for the super chat, Corey. Much appreciated, brother. The mist is great. Yep, it is. But yeah, so 
the Green Mile, obviously. Um, the Body, which most of you guys probably know as um, Stand By Me. Um, what else? Uh, hmm, the Mist. Obviously, I just talked about. And there's uh, Rita Hayworth. Uh, what do they call the movie? Um, Shawshank Redemption. Did you guys know that was a Stephen King? Shawshank Redemption? Most people don't. Cujo was good. Yeah, Cujo was good. Um, Needful Things was amazing. So a long time ago, The Shining the Shining's great, but the the for me, the book was better. A lot better. Um, Where'd it go? Needful Things. It's funny, Jeff, you mentioned Needful Things because I I grew up wanting to be two things. A writer or a... uh, Oh, my gosh. I can't even think of the word. Marine biologist. Sorry. Uh, Because I'm a huge fan of sharks. Uh, My mom... And I like binge watch Shark Week every year when I was a kid. That was like the one week during the year I could stay up late, you know, past my bedtime and stuff. And just a huge fan of sharks. And anyways, I wanted to work, be a marine biologist and work with sharks specifically. Or I wanted to be a writer. Well, when I was a teenager, I found marijuana and, you know, some other activities that kind of derailed me i guess i didn't have like a drug addiction or anything like that i've never been an alcoholic but um that kind of derailed me from my plans to be a marine biologist but then i also had a son at the age of 17 i'm 44 my son is almost 27 um so that changed my plans so then i thought writer i'm gonna be a writer so i tried writing and i tried and tried and tried every single thing i tried to write stephen king already did i've read all his books at the time i was you know 16 17 years old 18 19 i read all the books he had already written everything i wrote the first one i tried to write i tried to write it six or seven times jeff and every single time i i kept going back to needful things i was like I'm literally writing needful things over again. I can't do that. So I gave up. I was like, all right, clearly I'm no writer. I couldn't come up with anything original. So that sucked. Found out Soda City don't float. No, it doesn't. Ballerina. I did try, according to my mom, I was four years old, so I don't remember this. But my mom said I went to gymnastics for one day and then I quit. Matt is here. What is up, Matt? How you doing, sir? Oh, I never put Amy's channel. Hold on. Beach by repeat. Let's see here. Beach by repeat. Search. So, yeah. um, Ian, those are probably my top. If you're going to... uh, Check out if you guys don't like reading, but you're interested in Stephen King. I saw I saw somebody ask was uh the mist scary, and it is a it's one of the more horror scary kind of books Stephen King's written. What's the movie with Johnny Depp based on Stephen King? He's a writer in the movie. Oh, uh, not the Ninth Gate. What's oh my gosh, what's it called? I was going to drop it at the time, but it seemed you want to be Roman now. No, why is, why is this Sharon, Sharon so to see Herbs? That is not what I said to do. It's not changing. It's, it's literally not changing to her. All right, I'm just going to type it in. Oh. I should, this is exactly what I have you 
as a mod for Alyssa. I should be letting you do this stuff. www.youtube.com slash at beach. Hold on. I think she capitalizes everything. Beach by repeat. Let me know if that link works, guys. Oh, never mind. Look at Alyssa coming in hot. Thank you, Alyssa. Couldn't remember, but you were talking about being a writer. Yeah. I did want to be a writer. You did have me for that. Yeah, I appreciate you, Alyssa. I always forget that I have mods. Hold on. Speaking of mods... Kristen is here. What is up, Kristen? Welcome in Secret Window. Yes, thank you, Chad. Secret Window was the uh, book with Johnny Depp. Thank you, Chad. Yeah, that one slipped my mind. I was thinking Ninth Gate for some reason. I'm like, no, it wasn't Ninth Gate. Good job, Chad. Absolutely. So what's everybody's plans this week? Won't be long and I'm going to the Kentucky Derby. Kentucky Derby. I'm excited. Only a couple more weeks. Had so much fun. It's a guy's trip every year. And I'm looking forward to it. Rod running Pigeon Forge. That's right. I, I remember uh, Rocky Top was talking about that, right? Corey, I don't wear fancy hats. I wear cool hats. I don't know if you've ever seen any of my collection, but they're all cool, man. Super cool. I actually probably will wear the hat that I bought from the Derby last year. You guys, If any of you guys are familiar with any of the history of the Derby, uh, there used to be a, a horse. And I think there was even a movie called The Secretariat. And The Secretariat won the trifecta, trifecta one year, 51 years ago. So I bought the 50th anniversary hat, which is super, super cool. Um, I don't have it with me to show it to you. Is that my office? In my, so I have a collection of hats in my office and a collection here. But yeah, um, that's probably the hat I'm going to wear. List, 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 Shane Checker, P.O. Box, yo. Chad, I will do, man. I went, not yesterday, I went Saturday and uh, picked up a bunch of packages and and uh, stuff. And uh, there was nothing from you in there, but that's where I got my hat from Miss Amy. And I got my radios returned, and I don't even remember what else I got. Quite a few things, though. Matt knows a hat I should wear. Hello and probably goodbye because you're probably about to sign off, I'd guess. Absolutely not, Miss Lori. Nine o'clock at the earliest. This is a two-hour show, homegirl. Matt, you want me to show him the hat I should wear? This is the hat Matt thinks I should wear. How sick is this thing? I won't even wear it. Because I'm afraid I'll get it filthy. That thing is clean and expensive. I know how much Matt paid for these. And I won't uh I will not destroy that hat. Guys, who likes Pokemon? We're giving away 10 packs of these things tonight. They're not worth a lot, but they're free, so shut up and have a good time. But yeah, chat, I'll check my P.O. box tomorrow, sir. I don't know what you sent, but I appreciate it, unless it's a bomb or anthrax or something. The Mist was amazing. Didn't like the ending, though. Nobody likes the ending. Only sick, twisted people like the ending. Jeff says you got to catch them all, and you do. Cool hat, but I can't wear white hats. They get so dirty so fast with me wearing them. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a little dude, and I sweat easily 
You'll take one if you want to give me one. I'm giving all 10 of them away to one person. One person gets everything. <laughs> With that being said, though, guys, I do have a uh, community post where I ask everybody what your favorite Soda City Flips video is. All I ask is that you comment and you like it and you share that post. Somebody's going to win a $25 gift card of your choice. You get to choose. Cigarette ads on the back, so awesome. Here, kiddo, have a cig. Yeah. Yep. All the ads did, man. I was going through some sports programs. I sold a couple, but I have some vintage 40s and 50s sports programs from a lot of college sports, um, football, basketball, and stuff that I bought off a of Commonwealth picker, actually, Kevin, on whatnot. Um, I paid $31 for... A stack of like 10 or 12 of them and i sold the first one it covered all the covered everything i paid for them but anyways these are college sports and they're full of cigarette ads freddie russell's here what's up freddie dinner on the table just peeking in well i appreciate you freddie if you wouldn't mind hit that like button brother it means the absolute world to me john and jenna just finished up do you think their crowd's gonna come over here Probably not. Larry Way Out 1 probably did, though. What's up, Larry? How you doing, sir? Miss Lori, did you see in my new video the hat I sold? I, I told you I'd make a new video, and I was going to do a short, but I decided to just add it into the video I made instead. I want to open these up and look at them. But at the same time, I'd rather you guys have them. I did buy them literally just to give them away tonight. So Ping should be along soon. Yes, they just finished. Yep. Ping always comes by. She's such a wonderful sweetheart. Such a nice woman. And I am one of the very few who have been lucky enough to have Ping G, the one and only Ping G on this show how awesome is that i have not watched it yet is that the one with the ai thumbnail yeah that was the that was the closest i could get to fat bearded animated shane tattooed so i know it doesn't look like me but it was the best i could do i was in a hurry at volleyball the night that video went live you guys know my stepdaughter plays volleyball, and I don't miss any of her games. So I let AI take control of that thumbnail. Roman may be typed out already. You're probably right. That man, he is long-winded in chat form and voice form. I love Matt's hat. Yeah, it's a super nice hat. It was a decent representation. <laughs> Thank you, Lori. You guys know what she's talking about? Probably not, because none of you watch my videos. Crazy Maze Stash is live right now, y'all. I will understand if you leave to go watch her. Cajun Johnny is live with her as well. I'm just kidding. Don't leave. Let me show you guys this thumbnail. Come on. View your channel. Act right. Share my screen. Needed more gray in the beard. Well, yeah, probably. Probably. Share screen. Come on. Why is it? share all right this one right here you guys see that whoops right there low ball offers on ebay are they really that bad i feel like it's a good video i could be wrong because it's only got 141 views in three days clearly i'm wrong but guys go watch it if you haven't already 
I thought the AI did good. Thank you. Yes, Mia. Absolutely. I don't just be subbing people and dropping. When I sub you, I sub you for life. Unless you uh, come in my live show calling me an Archie douchebags. Then, then I don't sub you anymore. And I make fun of you behind the scenes. Need to catch up. Just been hectic last couple of weeks. Yeah, it's been crazy, man. I had to put something out, and a lot of people have been talking about lowball offers lately, and I was like, you know what? Maybe I should just give my opinion on why we're receiving lowball offers. You know what I mean? So that's what I went with. I did a little little bit of what sold in that video as well because a lot of my viewers have been asking me to get back to what sold videos. I don't particularly enjoy doing what video what sold videos, well, let me rephrase that. I got burnt out on doing what sold videos because that's all I was doing for a long time. So um, I didn't want my channel to just be about that. So I just stopped doing them. I was like, all right, I'm not enjoying this anymore. Um, the problem is, or the problem was, that's all I was doing. So I burnt myself out on them. Uh, hadn't done one in, I don't know, four, five, six months. So I figured it was a good time to you know, start weaving some of that back into my content. So flipping and ripping. What is up, Paige? How you doing, sir? Coming back from the Bay, Andy. So Meta's in the house. What is up, Andy? Change the thumbnail to a real picture of you holding something blurred out. And the caption says, I know what I got. Yeah, that's true. That's probably not a not a bad idea. Afraid to let that crazy eye take a chance at me. Now, now, no need to mention that Dakota spaz. <laughs> it's, is it sad that people know who I'm talking about without me even mentioning who I'm talking about? If you really want to make your fans mad, do a What Sold video with a Timu ad at the beginning. I watched that today, um, Paige, and I mean, I didn't see anything wrong with it. Personally, I don't use Timu. My my stepdaughter and my wife both love it. I don't use it. Um, I did try it. I bought uh because they I don't I'm not familiar with Timo Timu Timu, however you pronounce it. I'm not familiar with how exactly it works, but I know you can share things and do all this stuff and people save money and you save money. And anyways, it's like this chain of events and like there's some you know child worker factory going on somewhere. But people are saving money, so everybody loves it. So anyways, I did all this stuff for to help them out. But then it told me I had like $100 in credit or something. So I was like, whatever, I'll just, I'll try and see what happens. And uh, so I ordered a bunch of stuff. None of the shirts fit, which, you know, they're, they're, they're coming from China or whatever. I get it. China people, uh, Chinese people are generally a lot smaller than most Americans, so their sizes are different. That's on me. One of the shirts, however, you see how this says Live Lucky? I bought this super dope, or what I expected to be dope, um, Death Row Records shirt. You guys know I like my 90s hip hop. Death Row Records was written backwards, and the image was backwards. So it read like Death Row Records all. It was ridiculous. Um, but most of the stuff I ordered off of there for me didn't work out. But my wife and my stepdaughter absolutely love it. They order from there all the time. So I don't see a problem with it, man. Not everybody likes Timu and everybody has their reasons why they don't like them. But and you know what? I enjoyed the video. It was a good video. So sorry your uh sorry your viewers are upset with you, buddy. All right, I see the crowds coming in now. Thank you, John and Jenna, for ending your show. I always appreciate the handful of people who trickle in after you guys end. Roman. He better not have said hi to them first. Okay, no, he didn't. Shane said this success on YouTube is to clout chase everyone. Yep, I've been called a clout chaser as of recent, you guys. 
um, and that my channel was based on drama. So sorry if I uh, upset you guys. I don't know how I'm ch clout chasing, but I have been told I'm a clout chaser. So it is what it is. Um, I'm not, and that's cool. Whatever. People have their opinions, and that's fine. Um, Ping G is here. What is up, Ping? How you doing? Uh, bah, 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 bah. Who am I missing? Anybody? Nope. Everybody's still saying hi. So, yeah. Um, we're going to do a giveaway. I don't know when we're going to do it yet, but Paige, you probably know. I have all these Pokemon trick or trade packs. I don't know what they are. They don't look like they're selling great, but I'm just going to give all 10 packs away to one person tonight. How's the Herbs channel going? I watched a few. I appreciate you, Freddie. Um, I think I'm at like 150 something subscribers. I was up over 160, but I haven't been posting um, very consistently over there. And I, I actually tried to go out or I didn't try. I was, I got in, asked to come relocate a snake tonight just before this show started. And I turned them down. It was a big fat, healthy rat snake who had just eaten. Uh, I got a picture, <coughs> but I turned them down because this show is more important to me. Um, that sounds horrible because saving the life of, a, a, you know, an animal should always be more important, but I do need footage for the snake channel. That would have made for great footage, but Monday nights are my nights with you guys and I love you guys. So I'm here. I reached out to a, a buddy of mine and I said, Hey man, I got to go live on YouTube. Can you please go relocate this rat snake? He's already taken care of it. Mm. The homeowner's happy. I'm happy. The snake's obviously happy. Everybody's happy. Seems like a good idea to give them away. Yeah, I thought the same thing, man. I ain't fast enough to clout chase anyone. We're bringing up the rear, but still moving forward. That's the goal, right? Just the same, same, same when I'm playing golf. I'm not good at golf. The goal is hit them straight and keep moving towards the goal, which is the pin. Same thing with, with YouTube. Just keep moving forward. You don't have to grow overnight like J Ride Flip. Grow slow. It's absolutely fine. Corey and Teresa have. 2,500 to 3,000 subscribers. Corey, correct me if I'm wrong. But these guys have 2,000 plus views every time they put a video out. They have the most loyal viewers of any channel I've seen. It's like every single person who subs to them watches every single video. And that's amazing to me. They're doing something right over there. Everybody's saying, hey, hey, been chasing old school picker sub count since day one. He made it way easier by going on indefinite hiatus. Yeah, that does help, doesn't it? I don't know who should I, who I should uh, try to chase down. I don't know who's. Hmm. Guys, who has 4,000 subscribers or around that number besides heck and Steve? A lot of people just like to throw shade attacks for drama thrills to make themselves feel important. But anyone who blindly doesn't question, and investigate the true evidence just isn't worth shite. Yeah, I agree. Matt says I'll be the last YouTuber to the promised land. Nah, Matt, you can't. Even, let me see. Where's Matt at? Let's see. Where's Matt? ABC Matt. ABC. You got to be getting close, man. Seven hundred and ninety-two subscribers. You're getting close, man. Guys, go subscribe to ABC Matt if you haven't already. I was fortunate enough to meet Matt down in Orlando, and Matt is a super, super cool dude. This month is when a lot of snakes come out in my area. I watch out when mowing lawns. Yeah, so um, it's spring, right? Most places it's spring, and the snakes are coming out, and they're enjoying the the spring frenzy grabbing all the food they can get and enjoying that sun 
it is a good time to go out and view snakes if you're uh, interested. Exactly, Andy. Be a grower, not a shower. If you know, you know. Andy knows clearly. I'm with you, Matt. Nah, Jason, you'll be all right. We require our viewers, actually. It's in the contract. Oh, okay. So that, that's all I got to do. Require. Clout chase is good, actually. I will clout chase Lissa. <laughs> Andy, I just saw you were called a hat thief. Yeah, Matt does do a great job. Corey and Teresa need that scale first, all in fun. Don't care what Archie said about me. Yeah, Archie says a lot about me, but I love him. Even though he doesn't come to my live shows anymore because he's Ubering and all that other nonsense trying to make a living. Do 10 giveaways? Holy moly. Whoops, I hit the mic, y'all. Sorry. And the volume went down. How's that? Is that better? All right. Matt, I'm giving away these 10 Pokemon. What are they called? Trick or Trade 2023 packs. We're going to give them away tonight. I don't know when. We've been going an hour and 16 minutes, so... When do you guys want to give it away? We've got 26 people in here. That's probably the most I'll have all night. You guys want to give it away now? You want to do five and five? Ten giveaways. This could cost me... Paige, how much, how much would that cost to ship? Probably weighs an ounce, maybe. Yeah, exact, exactly, Lisa. That was my that's my point. That's exactly where I was going. One giveaway, one shipping label. So guys, I need two things from you. I need everyone to let me know. I'm going to do this right now. Let me grab something to write on. You guys know where I live, and you know what flea market is nearby. Look, rap uh, diss track lyrics right here. Anyways, you guys know where I live. You know the flea market. I need a list. I need 10 items right now. 10 items. Things. I might find at my flea market. I'm going to do a video. And I need your guys' help. So 10 things. Tell me right now. 10 things I might find at my flea market. I'm at the same flea market Harry Tornado goes to. Pikachu, shoes, yep, 10 things, 10 things, as soon as we get 10, Harry Tornado, I was waiting on someone to say that, Harry Tornado, Space Saver can opener, wow, Miss Lori's getting very specific, Space Saver, can opener cassette tapes support your friend sweaters yeah i can't even get one from them i live here i can't even get one overpriced shoes guaranteed dvds french fries Diapers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more guys. Golf clubs. One more thing. One more. Clout chasers. 
Diamond Disney VHS. Good one, Jason. Diamond Disney VHS. All right, here's the deal, guys. I'm going to do a scavenger hunt video. If I find all 10 things here, I'll give away a $100 gift card for something. That's the deal. That is the deal. So thank you guys for the suggestions. Uh, I'll have to get out there and do that video soon. Okay, now, giveaway time. Alex, you're, you're here just in time, buddy. Thanks for stopping by. 29 people in the chat. I want to see 29 people comment giveaway. Hashtag giveaway, all lowercase. Hashtag giveaway. Somebody's winning 10 packs. Pokemon trick or treat cards, unopened, sealed. These things are worth about $47 billion, guys. At least. Hashtag giveaway. Hashtag giveaway, all lowercase. Hashtag giveaway. Freddie, you got to put the hashtag, buddy. There you go. All right. While you guys are doing that, I'm going to pull up the StreamYard giveaway tool. Hashtag giveaway, guys. Do it. I have a ton of Pokemon cards on my desk. We can give some of mine away as well. Away as well. Archie Biscuit Butt is in the house. He was being all quiet. Hashtag giveaway, guys. Pokemon cards. Pokemon. 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 Trick or trade. Ten packs. These were, if you guys care and you're weird about uh, fake celebrities, I bought these from Paul Philly Flipper. These belong to him at once. So fake celebrity status. There you go. Touched by Paul Philly Flipper. Been here the whole time, Archie, bro. All right, guys. 30 people in the chat. Let me see how many people. I guess we should. Let's see. Soda City Social Live. Hashtag give away exclude winners when doing i'm not doing all that let's see how many people we got we only got 15 entries you guys 15 there's 29 because somebody left 29 people here either we're all adults here and we don't like pokemon cards i feel like anthony would be in on this and he's not here um not everybody likes only 10 likes replay game lab is saying you guys are not hitting that like button and i'll tell you why replay game lab it's because people like grams and pops Teresa and Corey, they're watching on their tv instead of their phones or their computers so they're watching on the tv they can't hit the like button i know they're not watching on the tv because they're commenting but it's that's what everybody else is doing also working by not doing anything they moved the like button. Did they really, Paige? Corey, I'm just kidding, man. But he's probably... I don't want a Pokemon rash. That's funny. All right, guys. Let's see. Let's see. Still only 15 entries. We're going to just run it. All right, because I know people are trying to eat oh, peanuts. Easy pickings. Hashtag giveaway, all lowercase, for anybody who's just coming in. Too bad Melissa's not watching her. I'd have a Roman shout out her, trying to get her on my YouTube. I'm at mom's, and she's home building custom ink pens. Oh, that's cool. If you see the chat, you can't see the like button. Oh, wow. Accidentally found the thumbs up when I wondered what the X did. I did not know that, guys. That's cool. 31 people in here. Wow. 
a couple more and we'll be at my all time high. Hashtag giveaway, guys. Hashtag giveaway. Start collecting comments. Still only 15 people. I'm sharing the screen and we're pulling. We're pulling a winner. Share screen. We ain't waiting on nobody else. Giveaway tool. Share. All right, you guys ready? Draw. Good luck, everybody. Good luck, guys. Lux Garage, Jason with the win. Congrats, Jason. Hope you uh, like cheap Pokemon cards. You are the winner, my friend. Close out the chat screen by hitting the X in the right corner, then just hit the chat bar again after hitting the thumbs up. Jason, congrats, buddy. I'll have these out to you tomorrow. Run it again. I'll send the winner 18 hollow rares. All right, guys. Let me pull up the uh, giveaway tool again. We're going we're gonna to do another giveaway. Uh, courtesy of page one foot flipper guys if you're not su subscribed to page lissa can you please please put pages uh channel in the uh in the chat please if you guys aren't subscribed you're missing out let's go uh hashtag one foot flipper I'm going to make you guys type for this one. Hashtag one foot flipper, guys. Zoe's crying that he didn't win. You better win this one then, Alex. Hashtag one foot flipper, guys. Hashtag one foot flipper. Page is going to give away 10 Pokemon rare hollows. 18. Did he say 18? Did I say 10? I don't know. He said 18. Anyways, hashtag one foot flipper. Win some cards, guys. Eighteen of them. That's right, guys. How about that? It's not even Paige's show, and he's giving you stuff. We can do this all night. Who's got stuff they want to mail to people? One foot flipper, one foot flipper, hashtag. Come on, guys. 31 people. I saw 32. That's the most I've ever had, but that was just a tie. I need 33 people to be in here for my biggest show. I can't imagine these guys that get hundreds of people in their live show. It's got to be hard to keep up with the comments. How about 200 hats? Grumpy Pickers in the house. What's up, Kyle? I keep selling hats, man. I sold another one. It's in my newest video. That was a good one, too. It was a master's hat. Go figure. It was a master's week, and it sold sold it for $32 plus shipping. One foot flipper, guys. Hashtag one foot flipper. Paige is going to send you some cards. Jason, uh, do me a favor, bro, on instagram or wherever just shoot me a message with your address man 33 people i saw it you guys probably didn't i saw 33 people my largest live show ever that's awesome oh it was pops yes pops versus plants guys there it is Corey. i shared it earlier i would have bought if was a master of puppets hat yeah I don't have one of those. Someday you'll have so many in chat, you'll have to engage slow mode to read them. That's what you have to do with hundreds in chat. I didn't even know that was a thing. That's insane. Slow mo. Again, guys that weren't here, uh, Corey did super chat five bucks. Um, so big shout out to Corey and and uh, Teresa for that. What's your favorite Soda City Flips video, Shane? Probably. 
It's got to be one of the diss tracks, right? Hmm. I don't know. I kind of liked. I th I think it was my Orlando trash to cash video video for me. I think that was my favorite. Yeah, we did. We hit thirty three. Let's see how many people are. We got fifteen entries on this one as well. That's why I'm mod. I gotta know something around here. That's true. All right, let me share the screen. We got fifteen people in here as well. I feel my phone vibrating. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, guys, we're gonna give this thing away really quick. Um, can you guys see that? Let's draw. Hashtag one foot flipper. I'm going to give you five seconds if you're not already in there. One, four, two, five, three. Draw. Who's it going to be? Freddie Russell. Congratulations. The Orlando trip video was fun. We need more of that. So, does that mean I should film another video on the way to 127? Yeah, Shanna, you got close both times. Congrats, Freddie. I'm assuming you can just reach out to Paige um, on Instagram. But, Paige, if that's incorrect, uh, let me know. Just reach out to Paige on Instagram, One Foot Flipper. And uh, he'll send you some cards, buddy. Congrats. I like that one, too. Yeah, that that's probably my favorite one. That is probably my favorite video that I've made. Jason, I saw your Instagram. Thanks, man. I'll, uh, I'll get these out to you tomorrow. Start planning your planes to profit travel video for 2025. Um... I really want to go to that. So I need you guys to do extra well this year so you can afford to buy my plane ticket, Corey. Uh, you could probably get um, Miss Lori and Mr. Kyle to help you out. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat's a little dry. Uh, what the shite? I never win anything except my wife. I don't either. Really want to go to something this year. Paige, I thought you were going to uh, sneak up to the 127, buddy. I was looking forward to that. Are you not coming now? I want to meet you, bro. Bow to the one foot flipper. Buy your own ticket. No. No, nah, I do want to go. Absolutely want to go. Alex, I agree with you. What are we agreeing with Alex for? Rigged? Was it rigged? Did Alex say it was rigged? I missed this comment. Oh, Master of Puppets comment, I'm assuming. So sorry, I probably said too much. <laughs> That's funny. And Reezy approves. That's right. So, what else? Guys, I got a stack. A freaking stack of these Soda City flips, my reseller genie, QR code cards. How cool is that? Save 15% off your first month. I just got these in the mail today. They sent them to me. Super cool. Paul and Faith are amazing, amazing people. Know that you should film a video on the way to Nashville meetup. Man, if it was more, it's a 16-hour round trip for a day and a half. Two days. It's not even. I would, I would have to drive up Friday after work, which means I get there at, I don't know, 3 in the morning. And then... Spend all day Saturday doing 
uh, event things. And then Sunday, I have to leave and drive eight hours back. It's, it's not feasible right now. Not with me going to the 127. And you know how much money we have tied up in that. And I'm trying to buy a van so I can not rent cars and stuff. I want to buy a van just for thrifting in general. Um, But, yeah, so... But I'm I'm not gonna buy a ADH Dave minivan. I'm gonna buy something cool. Shane, you can be a guest. Just don't rip your pants. This is a '90s chat room with nicer people in high definition. That's right. Definitely worth it. I do I do wish I could go to the Nashville meetup, but I'm super stoked to be going to Highway 127. And don't tell uh, Trash to Cash, but I do plan on skipping their event next year if they have one in the winter and going to Nebraska. Are we doing Nebraska again, guys? I say we like I was there. Are you guys doing Nebraska again? Closed trailer works well with a truck for tall things. Yeah, I already have a flatbed trailer and... I don't know. Maybe someday I could get one down the road. Okay, they are doing they are doing that in Nebraska. <laughs> 1988 Blazer that I use for garage sales. Um, is that a full size Blazer? I'm assuming. I have my Jeep Wrangler. Corey loves house plants. You don't even know. He loves outside house plants outside of the house plants as well outside pops versus plants Corey, i don't know if you were around when i said it but we all voted and you're now suddenly see more Definitely a better choice than Florida, no matter the reason, but to get together with awesome co-workers, the best reason. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. For sure. I'm trying to find a picture of my Jeep. Somebody shared my Facebook or, yeah, Facebook post. See all photos. Somebody shared it. Holy moly. I have albums, cover photos. Well, this isn't a great, this isn't a great photo, but I'll show you guys skinny Shane. P2P2. You mean P2P also? Ha ha ha. You guys want to see skinny Shane? This isn't the greatest. This isn't the greatest uh, photo of my Jeep. But there's skinny Shane. That says 2020, but that picture was taken a lot longer than that. Late March this time, get into some even nicer weather. Not a fan of Florida. That state blows, literally. But yeah, there's the Jeep. That's what I thrift in. I'm trying to find a better, better photo. More, more recent, I should say. Hmm. This might take a minute. Maybe not, though. We'll see. Oh, there it is. This was before a beach trip. Nice cheap. Thank you. Like the mud, you know it's been used. Yep. Absolutely. Here's the Jeep. That's how it looks now.
that's how it looks now. I love my Jeep, though. Oh, yeah. I used to have a Jimmy that looked like that, Larry. GMC Jimmy. That was my very first, very first uh, car I ever owned or vehicle. No, I don't have a red Jeep. I have a pretty rare color, Sahara Tan, I think it is. They only made it for like a year. Did you see it, Lori? I just saw you asked. Somebody buy me one, please. Shannon, they're, they're fun. I bought mine when I lived in Colorado. Um, her name is Sandstorm. Sandstorm. For those of you who don't buy Jeeps or know about Jeeps, everybody names their Jeeps. Uh, a fun fact about me, don't put ducks on my shit. Jeep Commanders are super cheap. I got one because it was cheaper than an old minivan. My sister used to have a Commander, and she totaled it. But yeah, I don't do the whole duck, duck, jeep thing. I think it's stupid. It's dumb. Whatever. People do what they want. I don't, I don't, you don't see jeeps in, in my windshield or uh, ducks in my jeep windshield. I think it's just pointless. Sorry. That was a stupid rant to have. All super chats go towards Shanna's new jeep. There you go, Shanna. Jeeps are fun. I bought mine, I, I was trying to say or forgot, uh, living in Colorado. And I lived at the, if anybody's familiar with um, Colorado, Pikes Peak. I lived at the base of Pikes Peak in Manitou Springs, Colorado. And uh, I used to take that thing. Man, I bought that Jeep. I had a Chrysler 300 before then. This was 2013, I think. Um at a Chrysler 300 and it's practical for most people, but I'm a very outdoorsy kind of person. I like to go hiking, um, fishing. I used to hunt. I don't hunt anymore. Um, but I did all these things, mountain biking, all this stuff. And the Jeep was more practical. So I bought the Jeep while I was living out there and I was out there for two years and came back to South Carolina and Jeep's not as practical here i mean it's still a great vehicle it's paid off and i'm you know not in the mood to get another car payment so keeping the jeep but uh i don't get to do off-road stuff as much and and you know mountain and rock climb and stuff like that like i used to manitou springs one of our favorite places yeah it is an amazing place jeep stands for just empty every pocket yep Troy Mountain Man treasures ducks and plaster them on it someday. No, you're not. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry for clearing my throat in your ears. Jason had a CJ5 once with a 304 V8 and could pop wheelies. Yeah. My uncle had a CJ. I think his was a CJ7 when I was a kid. And I loved it. Absolutely loved it. Don't think my significant other named his Jeep. All I remember is that it was a CJ every up gig. Greg cost a minimum of four hundred dollars. <laughs> that sounds about right, Ping. Excuse me. Look at there, guys. Rad Relics is here. John, the second channel member to show up. No, wait. Archie was here. You're the third. You're the third channel member to show up tonight. So that's cool. Thank you guys all for coming by. Um I need one. I I need one. I try to fit too much in my focus. One year, Black Friday, I bought an electric fireplace and the back door would close. Dad had to wake up and rescue me at 2 a.m. That sucks. I think Troy actually buys his ducks from my wife's employer. Blessed Ohio Picker, welcome in, welcome in. 
John's been around just working on stuff. Well, John, I appreciate you, man. Ohio, blessed Ohio picker. Thanks for coming by as well. Been hiding somewhere. Yeah, Lissa, right? Rad Relics is gifting memberships again. John, you cannot do this every month, my friend. I love you, brother, and I appreciate you. That's amazing. Guys, let me know who got memberships. I'm going to assume they're not five uh, Soda City Mafia memberships. That would be amazing. But anyways, let me know who got them because I can't see them. Shanna got one. I swear John Rad Relics does this every month, y'all. Every single month. I'm assuming you get notified. I don't know. I've, I've never seen. Yeah, it's random. He doesn't. He doesn't choose, guys. Just so you know, it is random. Don't want anybody thinking they're getting left out. I've bought the memberships for people before and gifted them, but I've uh, I've never been gifted one, so I don't know how it works. As far as I'm assuming, it notifies you that you've been gifted a membership. But I did, I think it was Grumpy Granny when she first got monetized and had her live show. I gifted 10 memberships, I believe. John gave me membership to the state of Missouri. <laughs> Mike Seller. I don't see Mike Seller. I'm not seeing Mike Seller. Where's Mike Seller? You are notified if you get a gift membership. Okay. Yeah, but it is random, guys. So please don't. I don't want anybody to feel like they got left out. John, there's 29 people in here. You need to gift everybody one. I'm just kidding. Please don't do that. Mike Seller, what is up? Welcome in. Yeah, so Mike got a membership. That's cool. So that's two people. Who else? Only two people stepped up and said they got them. I'm curious. Chad already had one. Had a fart sat jack. Is he here too? Inked picker. They're not there. Are they? They must be here and they're just being quiet, which is unlike Mike. Mike, fart sat jack. Are you here, bro? Inked picker got one. To those who didn't already belong to the channel, what was given out? Sorry, wasn't paying attention. Don, uh, our good friend John Rad Relics gifted out uh, five uh, channel memberships, which is amazing. Thank you so much, John. He's pooping. He's a pooping. Good guess. <laughs> Rock Chalk John. I'm in Kansas. I was in uh, Lee Summit, Missouri, which you guys from that area, uh, Kansas City and all that, probably know what I'm talking about. But I was in Lee Summit, Missouri for about a year. And then I went to Indianapolis. Fort Wayne area. Then I moved out to Colorado to Manitou Springs. Yep. Sounds like Shanna should have went to Plains to Profit and didn't. You guys aren't giving her shit because she didn't go, but I get shit because I didn't go. I know you guys love me though. Topeka. 
Yep, I've been in Topeka, Wichita, one of the most boring places I've ever been in my life. So when you when you guys when you jump on Highway 70 and you leave Kansas, it's miles and miles of miles and miles till you get to Denver. Got to take off. Tell the family thanks for letting us borrow you again tonight. They don't mind. They they enjoy their peaceful alone time without Shane. Um, but yeah, Corey, thanks for coming by, buddy. Yeah, exactly, Roman cornfields. It's all freaking cornfields and or um antelope, pronghorn, whatever you want to call them. Fell asleep on that Kansas City to Colorado drive once. Yeah, it is a long, freaking boring drive, man. It's beautiful, in my opinion, but only the first time. Once you've seen the prairie, once you've seen it one time, you're good. There's no, no sense in seeing any of that again. Exactly. Antelope? What? Yeah, pronghorn, they call them. Pronghorn, 555 miles of fat and nothing. Yep. These guys know what I'm talking about, Shanna. Wait, Shanna, you never gone to Colorado and you live right there? Paige, I got a question for you. I'm I'm not sure exactly where you live. I have a rough idea. Have you ever been to the Osceola Cheese Factory in Missouri? It's one of my favorite places on the planet. Yes, Roman, the cornfields with Malachi. Exactly. I watched that not too long ago. Lissa, have not been to the cheese factory. It's, I forget the little town it's in. It may even be called Osceola. I don't believe it is. Um, but that place is freaking amazing. If you like cheese, they have literally like hundreds of different types of cheese they make, and you can sample all of it. All of it. Of course, I've gone to Colorado, but I don't pay attention. <laughs> Congrats on all the view views on your video. Yeah, Paige is killing it, man. Osceola, so you know what I'm talking about? Miss Lori, that place. Oh, I miss that place. I've never been to a cheese factory restaurant. Freddie Russell, thank you for the live Mondays at 7 p.m. Yes. Yep. 7 p.m. Eastern every single Monday. Um, Barring, I never have like some kind of emergency that I have to miss the live for. I will always be here. As a humble, small reseller and self-proclaimed rapper, I would like to challenge you to a verbal duel. Whoa, guys, you see this? Do you think... Do you think Carrie backed out? Do you guys think Filipino Flips will back out? I mean, he challenged me. So did Carrie. Carrie backed out. Filipino Flips, I know you're new to the channel. I appreciate you being here. So let me dig. Do you have a channel? Let me look. Let me look. If you have a channel, I need to subscribe. So I'm going to go look right now. Filipino flips. Oh, wait, I'm looking. I need to look on YouTube, not Facebook. Filipino flips. Of course I spelled it wrong. I, I spelled it correctly. Filipino flips. That is not you. That is not you. Come on. Find it. There it is. All right. Subscribe. I am now subscribed to your channel. 
33 subscribers. Come on, guys. Let's let's get Filipino flip some uh some attention over here. Copy. Let's paste that bad boy right there. Let's give Filipino flips some love. LOL, I'm here for the heat. I love it, man. Roman, I learned the same thing. I left, John, I don't know if you saw, but I did leave you a comment on that video, buddy. Here for the heat. Do Instagram. What are you talking about, uh, Kristen? Oh, do it, Shane. Gotcha. Appreciate it, brother. Followed you from J-Ride. Yeah, that's I saw you on J-Ride um, when I went live. Archie and I went live with J-Ride on J-Ride's channel last week, guys. If you guys didn't see it, you missed a great show. Um, so check that out. Andy's not betting on me. Whatnot is only good for dumping low dollar items in bulk unless you have people thinking you are YouTube famous. Yes, I agree. It's very, very difficult to grow a following over there. It can be done, but it takes a lot of time, a lot of patience, and a lot of money. Sadly, you're going to pay a lot of money for inventory that you're basically going to give away. It's just the way it is. Sorry, it's going to piss off a lot of people that I said that, but John, you're absolutely right, bro. Roman Isaac can just stay in that field. That child was real evil. Isaac was, his voice, his voice bothered me more than anything else. Big bro is here, y'all. What is up, big bro? How you doing, buddy? Everybody is subbing over to Filipino Flips. I appreciate you guys showing some love and support like that. Him and Matt, probably cousins. Miss Lori, thanks for coming out and hanging out. I appreciate you, as always. Start making dinner. Man, you guys are leaving quick. Quick. Super quick, super, super, super quick. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm about to watch some of these videos from uh, Filipino Flips. Excuse me. I can't believe we've already been going for two hours, guys. That is insane. Big Row, I'm doing well, buddy. Doing well. Thank you for asking. Guys, it is now 9 p.m. Lissa, you know what's about to happen. Guys, I'm going to give you, I, I decided I'm just going to make this a, a, a thing. We're just going to make this a thing. It's going to happen every freaking Monday night. I'm going to give you my hot take of the week. Hot take of the week. Love me, hate me. It is what it is. But let me tell you something. If you guys are using more than four words to order your coffee, you're ordering a milkshake. 